Okay, welcome back to Todd's playing through Dragon Age Origins. Uh, we're taking, we're picking up right where we left off. We're going to uh, travel to our camp for a cutscene. Dragon Age cutscenes. Bad dreams, huh? It seems so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. Oh. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. Ooh. That's why we know this is really a blight. Uh, that's the dragon thing, right? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Uh, well, I'm going to thank him. That's what I'm here for to deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Enchantment. So, okay, here's camp. Camp, you're gonna see this a lot in the game. It's where we go back and rest and you talk to people, you get to know them, and what have you. There's Sten. Let's see, um, this is also where you, I like to give out all the gifts and whatnot since everyone's here. Uh, let's see, so this is uh, wine, so we'll save that for another character. Uh, I think goes to Alistair. I could get used to this, you know. Uh, we're gonna think it's the silver bracelet. A fine gift. That's fine. You have my thanks. And the tribal necklace. A fine gift. You have my thanks. Uh, let's see here. She gets all the religious stuff, so that's... I... that's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. Okay, so that's... That is that. Let's take a look here. Let's give her the family sword. Yeah, let's check to see if there's any better bow. Worse, worse... Ooh, that's better. Yeah, okay, we'll keep that. Ah, uh, Sten! Chris Sword. I'll give him that. Let's give him... I don't plan on really using him that much, but I do want to give him some... Upgrade his, uh... His armor every now and then. Twenty. Uh, okay. It's a Kunari cap. I'll give it to him. Hire a Kunari cap for Kunari. Let's see here. Yeah, I think the rest of this we're just gonna let's see. Six sixty six sixty six sixty. Yeah, we're good. So we're we we'll, we'll feel feel free to sell the rest of this and pretty much all of that. Yeah, okay. So uh let's see here. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. 
just on left it. At your service. Once Bloody... again, I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a grey warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? See, I thought he decided not to follow us, but, um... Uh, you're, feel free to stay, or just mind yourself. Wonderful. Thank the kind lady, won't you, boy? Thank you, kind lady. Thank you, kind lady. It won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. One you of should the need enchantments. Best Simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. In any RPG. Okay. Let's talk to him. Hello. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a what was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Uh, I want some enchanting done. Enchantment. Enchantment. So this is where we um, put that into Oathkeeper, which is by Alistair. So that's what we want. Yep. Okay. Uh, in this case, you and your go. friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Uh, let's see. Let's see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Okay. Just gonna sell all this stuff. I have 33 elf root. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, he has no. I don't think he has. Does he have a backpack? He has a backpack. So we'll grab that. Can I carry a hundred things? Uh, I can. Oh, I can uh, buy a Grandmaster Lightning Rune or Frost Rune. Uh, we're gonna hold on. We're gonna hold on to any of that for now. When we get more uh, items that allow for more slots, I will uh, buy more stuff. Just gonna hold on to what we have. Keep the backpack. Um, yeah. Okay. There was another guy. Wasn't there another guy? There he is. Talk to him. You're a hard woman to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy, Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins, Levy the trader. This is DLC. Uh, really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. No. But you see... Duncan Do not. promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. Yes. What I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Uh, what did he promise you? Well, as you know, my family's name is Mud around noble circles. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last Warden Commander of Ferelden back when the Wardens were known as Freeloaders. So King Arlen banished the Wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Okay, what happens next? Hard to say. After King Arlen died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Drydens are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Uh, let's see. Surprised you kept your name. Our family's only crime was guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. So what favor did you ask? I asked for the truth. 
My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. I've never even heard of it. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. Okay, uh, so why didn't he help you? Darkspawn surfaced in southern Ferelden, and Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar. Said there might be useful things at the peak, but he never had the chance. Okay, I'll help you out. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Okay. So, uh, DLC. We'll do that. Uh, but not before we do some other DLC first. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, him? Yes. Him Indeed. and her. Indeed. Here. Ooh, random encounter. These are always fun. Sometimes. Usually. Will you stop eating? I'm hungry. Stuff your face at camp. For now, watch the bloody road. But we've been looking at the road for hours. No travelers all day. Will one of you pay attention? Hey, who's that? Okay, woo. Come on. Come on, shuffle, shuffle. Well, that's useless. Go after these arrow guys. I believe they're called Bowmen? Bowmen, yes. That's what they're really good Forget this. Give everyone frost weapons. I always forget that. Of course. As you desire. Bandit, hungry bandit. Lovely. I'm hungry. Just, just being thievery. Just taking everything. Try not to look too incompetent. It's embarrassing. See, this is where uh, 
I had opted for the repulse rather than the. I think. Wait, what level am I? I'm only level 7, so I wouldn't have been able to get this anyway. Never mind! Never mind my rambling. I would not have been able to get that anyway. Because it's telling me I don't have a high enough level. Oop. As you desire, so be it. And it. Save. Oh, I can't save. This is too high for us. So I imagine this one's the same. So I shall allow me. Yep. I could do that for you. Okay, that's uh I haven't really seen too much of that in this game. Or I'm too low level for well, I suppose I've seen it in locks. Stands the reason it'll happen in uh, Stands the reason it'll happen in traps as well, so. Usually I'm pretty good about keeping ahead of the, the curve for that. Okay, grab this. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now, what do I do? Uh, are you asking me to find your mule? Oh, no, 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 I sent the elf to do that. I wouldn't dream of asking a stranger to do it. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur at your service. De Bois? That sounds Orlegian. Uh, again, I'm a noble. I have manners. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? Uh, what do you need? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But uh, maybe you could? So how does this help him? Uh, what do you want for it? Nothing. I just don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. Oh, honest, that's why. I don't even know okay. if it'll be useful to you. I paid too much to simply throw it away. So, what's the catch? The catch? Uh, yeah, I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. <laughs> it's supposed to be down in a village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, <laughs> I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely? Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. Uh, yeah, I think I could use it, sure. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honleith. I'll mark it here on your map. Just hold up the rod and say Dulaf Gar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. And if it doesn't? Maybe you could look up the fellow who owned the golem before. If he's still about, that is. <laughs> Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. So yeah, if he's just giving stuff away like this, especially when, you, when people ask, I don't think he's a very good merchant. 
But hey, there you go. It's an RPG. And DLC. Come on. What else is not working? Okay, onward. Save. South to Hanaleith. Probably have another random encounter along the way. Yep, see, here we go. Oh, awesome! Star Metal! How did a child survive that? The crater is still smoking. It's a boy. Five fingers, five toes, that's all that matters to me. The Maker has answered our prayers. Let's go home, Marta, and raise the Tyke as our own. Would it if in Dragon Age 3, uh, the, the main bad guy is this kid, <laughs> 20 years later, <laughs> he to fight basically Superman? And that would be awesome. Uh, okay. So... So that ties that ties in with the uh, that ties in with the uh, this the Soldier's Peak DLC. Once we get cleared this out, we uh, the the merchant's brother and him take over, and you get like a little camp, including a blacksmith, and he takes this metal over, and and makes the most powerful weapon in the game. Unfortunately, he doesn't make daggers. So you know the weapon I, I give I usually make into a long sword, and I'll give it to Alistair. But we're not doing that just yet. I'm gonna go in here. Quick save, just in case. Okay. Let's see you two clearing this thing out. Love that decapitation. Okay, 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 okay. Save. It appears we will need to fight the entire night ourselves. Probably look at the buying, uh, making more uh, helpful this is this is. Let's take a look. What does she need? Again. Because she has the healing. Oh, I just need a. Uh, I just need a bunch of flasks. Next time I'm in merchants, I'll buy a bunch, and we'll make some lesser pulty CCs. This, I think, I guess needs a key. Even the greatest thief in all the world, As the greatest deserve. locksmith in all the world, will not be able to open it without the key. And so I shall. It's too bad, you. Yeah. You know, if I ever got around to making an RPG, I'd make it so that any lock, any yeah. lock, all is right. pickable. If you if you invested the time and money high enough into your lock picking skill, that any lock is pickable, even if it like quote unquote breaks a game. There should no you know there's really no there really is no there's no door that should be unpassable. Yeah, I think we've come I think we've come a long way in games, and I think you know 
any game is made today shouldn't have. Should be able to work around that. Okay, let's see here. Oh, more good luck. How did she level? He's good. They're gonna take care of it. Start picking up some loot up. Oh, we'll get to that. Magic helmet. Do, do, do. Okay. Ooh, that was for that chest back there. We are going to go and take a look at that chest. As you desire. Here and pick up these guys' of stuff. Course. And uh basket of birdseed. And so I shall. It looks like like a golem, doesn't it? An actual golem, and not a statue at all. I wonder how it ended up here of all places. Uh Dulafgar. Hmm, nothing's happening. Golem is unresponsive to the control rod and command words you acquired from Felix. Perhaps there are still survivors in the village who could shed some light on the Golem's current state. I.e., keep looking. Oh, there's a door. Oh, yeah. Uh, all the surprise cheese knife. 560. So, and two slots. So, uh, yeah. I will give Liana her enchanted dagger back. Ooh, nice arrow. Put that in here. Ooh, and level up Morgan. Uh, magic and willpower seem to be the two key stats for wizards, so we'll keep those balanced for each one that I get. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna give her heal. One of the criticisms, criticism, criticisms of Dragon Age 2 that I have is the fact that all the wizards have different... can't learn all the spells. Like, I can't, you know, one character could not... In fact, I don't think many, if any, of the wizards in Dragon Age 2 had healing as as a spell. I think the sister had one. And I think that was about it. Maybe Anders. Oh, Anders would have it too. But I neither liked my sister or Anders in Dragon Age 2. <laughs> I never had them in my party. Unless I had to. Uh, so, there. We're gonna continue on. Continue on, continue on! 
Willem Cellar. Let's see here. I have much healing at all left over. Uh, let's change her tactics. Uh, let's grab this ally health less than 50. Uh, heal. Not good. That is not good. Okay, let's take those up before that match. You know, even though this is easy, it's, it's still kind of a challenge. So, I'm not going to worry about criticisms about this game being easy. Morgan has heal, that's okay, it's it's manageable. This'll be good, this'll be fine. Well, alright. Plus I'm getting elf root. Do I have any flasks? I do not have any flasks. Going. Oh, he's gonna bash down this emissary. Ooh, what is 
he have on him? Oh, that healing is not going to work on him. Nice. Okay. We can start looting. I think we're all in a manageable area. As you desire. And this for XP. Ooh, some survivors. Hooray, hooray. Do, 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 do. Okay, save. By the Maker, we're saved! You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us? Uh, I doubt anyone thought you were still alive. <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful that someone came at all, then. Yes. Thank you. But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. I'm looking for whoever owned that statue outside. The statue outside? Why would... Oh, I think I see. You bought the control rod, didn't you? You came here looking for shale. <gasps> He's a magic user. Maybe. That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance! Ooh. Killed your father? Are you saying his golem is defective? How should I know? It must be. My father was its master, and it still killed him. Surely that's not normal behavior. My father's name was Wilhelm. Mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlais. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower, with so many broken bones she could barely recognize him, and Shale standing over him just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. Uh, except the rod doesn't work. My mother might have passed along the wrong command phrase when she sold the rod. She said she never wanted to see Shale active again. Look. I'll tell you the command phrase, but I'll need your help first. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid and, and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? So he waited this long to tell me about his daughter. <laughs> oh. You will thank the Maker! That's crazy. My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. So that's that's the part where the where the logic breaks down for me, is that I think he would have just gone right into it. Like, oh my god, my daughter's down there, can you help go get her? Please, please, please go get her get my daughter. I said, Well, there's this golem and he did this thing and like, Oh yeah, by the way, my daughter's down there in danger. Yeah, I don't think that would work. But hey, there you go, it's a game. You get to fight evil things. Ooh. As you desire. Loot. Loot, loot, loot. Okay, more stuff to fight. I guess they didn't get stunned. That's too bad. Ooh, Liliana level up. Uh, Another battle, I see. Now, I guess they're not affected by stones or whatnot. Hooray, no. uh. done. Uh. Uh, we're gonna 
give her that. Plus two strings, plus two decks, plus four attack. So my strength is 16. Now. Okay. Cool stuff in this DLC. The dagger, the ring, and later on a helmet. Oh, very cool. Quick save. What do you mean you've never climbed a tree? Oh, look! Someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Uh, we? Who is we? Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Uh, okay. I can't go. Kitty says she can't come, and I'm not leaving her. She'd be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. Oh, a cat talks. Of course, silly. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. Uh, right. Uh, you need to return Nothing to your father. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. Oh, I Kitty. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. Uh, let's see. What have you done to her? I have done nothing. I am all but powerless. The mage made sure of that, didn't he? I cannot leave this chamber. No, Amalia found me. After decades of isolation, her company is... welcome. <sighs> it seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose... a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father, and leave this place forever. You mean possess her? That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Uh, I'm gonna lie and say that I'll free you, and you can have the girl, but I'm not gonna have it later on, so. Thank you. You believe me you because I gracious. have a high charisma. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! Hooray! I've always okay. wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. So, let's see. How do I do this? Uh, let's... As you desire. And so I shall. Let's... Well, all right. I like it when Kitty sings to me. Let's see. It's a good way to do this. Uh, oh, I'm taking damage. Let's see here. Uh, this and that. Father doesn't like cats, but he never met Kitty. And so I shall. I'm taking damage. Lovely. Well, all right. And so I shall. Do, 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 do and do. Yes. 
I can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty? What's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. I'd say it for you. I didn't say I thought you live. Ha 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 ha. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't! Yay. Good for her. I guess. Ooh, sexy time. Okay, so often I often forget to uh, unrelease people. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so I'm gonna attack her. And face like your that. fear, mortal! Oh, she resisted. Ow. Okay. Stun. On you, there we go, we got it. Woo. Okay. So, what else are we getting here? Uh, we got... Oh, I need 20 strength to carry that and get the helm. Which gives me plus 2 strength to all my attributes. Okay, I guess Alistair's getting the helmet. Uh, let's see here. Give her the Thane helmet. I should just give myself a... I should not worry about the strength thing. I just give myself the... the points. So, oh, I could at least give myself... Uh, 18... Well, no. No, I'll stick with my plan. I'm gonna stick with my plan. Just make things a little more challenging is all. And we're doing fine so far, so that's good. Oh, a little more fighting. I think I saved before. It's always good to save. It's always good to save. Da, 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 da. Yeah, see, this is why, you know, the DLC. DLC in general uh, has a tendency to make things a bit easier. As, uh, companies want to take your money away for items. I think we work well together. That looks good. Okay. You did it! You Yay. freed her! Thank you so much! You're quite welcome. I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolin Han. If you still want that bloody thing. I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. Okay. So, we're getting kind of close to near the end. Well, let's just go ahead and see if we can get this golem. Little horn. Ominous dramatic music. Music that's dramatic. Ah, 
I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. Typical. Uh, hello? I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long. Many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Uh, not all of them, no. Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Uh, you have a name? Perhaps. I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. It certainly does right in its hand. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. Uh, all right, walk over there. And, uh, nothing. Oh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken? Yes. Uh, shouldn't you be happy about that? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? Uh... I don't intend to do anything with you. Ah, how unexpected, yet refreshing. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Uh, you're welcome to call. Are you going to keep calling me it? Yes, very likely. Yeah. Well, then you're welcome to come with me. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. Uh, think of it as a portable battering ram. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about then. For now. I am called Shale, by the way. Uh, Emrose, pleased to meet you again. Manners. I'm a noble. You know, bred and bred and what have you. This should be interesting. Born and bred. Uh, yeah, we'll accept that. I'm not going to have her in there. Not going to have the uh, golem with us. Uh... As a character, it's fine, but, uh... Ooh, level. Ooh, herm. We're gonna spend two. I think? No. Uh, dexterity and cunning. We're gonna see, wait and see how many we get from the from the Mage's Tower. Uh, weapon. And... We're gonna go coup de gras. If we get less locks, we get less locks, but this is, uh, kind of cool. Save. Yeah, uh, it looks like we've come to an end of another uh, good stopping point. Hopefully well, that tower just crashed down on, on there. Kind of cool. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,